Welcome to my tutorial on how to install Itzinga on Scientific Linux 6 with Postgres as the backend database. I've already gone ahead and installed most of the dependencies for uh, installing the software and uh, the database Apache um, and compilers. And I've also already gone ahead and downloaded all the RPM files from the website as well as the Nagios plugins which we'll be using once we get the server installed. And with these RPMs all we have to do is yum install it should take a few seconds all right, and that's all we have to do with uh, doing an RPM install. Uh, to use Postgres, we need to edit the configuration file. So we go through here and find and replace MySQL with Postgres. And go down and change the port to the Postgres port. And the default username and password are the ones we're going to use, so don't have to deal with that. And we also have to enable the event broker. And this is all in the documentation on the website. Okay, now we need to get Postgres running. So initialize the database and then start it. Then we have to switch to the Postgres user. connect to the server and create a user for our database give them a password and then create the database itself exit out of there and we also have to set up a uh, the PLPG language on the database which you can read about at the Postgres website and we're done with that account clear that out and from here we need to enable access to the database for the user For that we just do local the database name the username and I've only ever gotten trust to work give that a try okay and then finally we set up a password file can't type there we go okay and now we will go ahead and install the Nagios plugins and to do that we actually have to compile them 
before at Singa. So I just went into the untarred directory of the source. And based on all the parameters that the RPMs use for the install of it, Singa, you have to create a configure to match for the Nagios plugins. Go ahead, and I have something made up here. Just paste it in there. And this will, again, all be in the description for the video. Okay, and make, and make install. And now we have to change a setting here on Itsinga to look for the plugins in the correct path of exec. Just add that to the end. You'll notice that this is the same path as used in prefix plus libexec. So from here, I should note that I disabled SE Linux before I started this tutorial. Um, you could go about um, creating the correct configuration for that. Uh, I haven't gone ahead and done that. And I've also opened up port 80 on the computer to allow web access. And let's just see if everything is configured to run. Let's see, we need to turn on Apache. Postgres. And that's actually everything. And we'll just actually go ahead and restart everything. That was never on. I just realized I forgot to import the database. So let me go ahead and do that. That's not a big deal. Clear. PSQL. The user. The database name. And the file where. The database tables are. And that's done now. Get back to where we were. All right, and that should be everything that we need to get going here. So let's uh, switch over to a web browser and go to the site. And look at that, everything everything shows up on the main screen. It's a little cramped for the recording. You see that there's some checks pending. There's eight checks pending. Uh, these are going to be using the Nagios plugins that we installed. So these might take a few minutes to get going. 
And that's everything for this part of the video. Uh, next we will install the Itzinga web, um, the new interface. Thank you for watching.